Alrighty, we're here with an HP TouchSmart 320 PC. So Windows 10 won't install on it because the hard drive is going to fail. Um, can't log into Windows 7. I don't remember the guy's password. So I'm just going to go ahead and swap the hard drive entirely, install Windows 10 to it, and hopefully if all goes well I'll have a working computer in like half an hour. But to start off, um, I have static straps on for this here. You're going to need screwdrivers, um, just normal Phillips. I suggest that you try a couple of these in the screws in the back to make sure that you get the one that fits best. You don't want to strip those. Um, so, next I also have, there's a one terabyte SSD in there. I got this as the replacement. It's a Seagate uh, Fire CUDA. It's a one terabyte drive. I got it for instead of like a hundred bucks for an SSD. It's a solid state hybrid drive, SSHD. About 62 bucks on Amazon. Ordered it 2 a.m. this morning. Got here by about, you know, 8, 9 o'clock. So it's quite amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this computer up. Then we're going to take the hard drive out, dismount the hard drive from the caddy. Um, assuming it's the same size, which I really hope it is but um, my research should be correct. So if it is, then we'll go ahead, insert that one, do everything in reverse order, and in a couple minutes we should have a computer with a brand new hard drive. But Windows 10, obviously with that being in the package, Windows 10 is not installed yet, so it's not gonna work until I, you know, in order to tell if it, that it works, you just plug this computer in. If there's a blinking line when it turns on, you're good. So get it on the way. One thing that I found when opening it up for the first time, do not have any USB devices. Take them all out. Otherwise, when you go to separate the case, it will be yanking on this. You will destroy this. You will destroy part of your computer. Not good. It's very simple to just remember to take it off, put it on the side. Now, there's a screw here. And a screw here on this end. We're going to take those off, lift this up, and that's going to expose the hard drive area. Turn it around so that you can see what I'm doing. So when you hear that clicking, you know it's pretty much all the way off. Okay. Well, it's really a little troublesome. Sweet. So I'm grabbing that later. Um, if it starts giving you trouble, sometimes you need to just take a flathead screwdriver and pry it in between there where it's already coming apart, but just apply pressure upwards. Make sure that's out. Yeah, just like that. Apply a little tension. That's all it needs. Pull this forward and off. Um, probably see this needs a cleaning very badly. I will be doing that after I finish this video. But this right over here is going to be the hard drive. So turning it around, as you can see there's one screw here that's kind of holding it in place. This screw has a spring attached to it, so when you take it out, don't lose the spring. And it's got a nice little handle, so once we take that out, just slips right on out of there. Oh, come on. See, spring, do not lose. Yank it on out. 
There you go. Basically to swap it out, you just undo these four screws. Just actually loosen them with one or two turns each. And then do the rest by hand. One, two, three, four, and then the hard drive here. Open end. Slides on out. As you can see, this is a big hard drive. Apparently I bought the wrong one, so I need to redo my research or try again. So that's it for this video. Um, just install the new one. When you get one that's the right size, you do it in the reverse order. Just so that this here is facing on the open end with the handle on the top side. This here is on the bottom side. Put the four screws back in you know, each little screw hole there. Slide it in. Put the uh, screw with the spring on it back in. Put the casing back on. Put those two screws back. It's as easy as that.